I'm Holly. I just wanted to take a minute and introduce myself to you. It's really hard to know where to put your precious money, time, effort. So I just wanted to use some technology to introduce myself to you so you can kind of get a feel for what shooting with me would be like. Whether you choose to book with me or someone else, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks to get the most out of your photo shoot. About me. Where am I from? England, Missouri, New York, California. I have a cat <coughs> named Mary and I am married. You may actually talk to my husband who helps me with booking and scheduling my photo shoots. I am a photographer, but I'm also a working actress. That gives me kind of a unique perspective. I know what it's like to work with agents, managers, casting directors. I also know what it's like to be on the other side of the camera, how nerve wracking it is, how stressful it is. I do everything in my power to make you feel more comfortable, to help guide you through the process, to make you forget yourself and have fun and just be yourself. My philosophy. What you'll notice by looking through my portfolio, I think, I hope, is that you're looking at the people and not the photography. I have my own style, but my style should never eclipse your personality. So I try to take my ego out of it. I'm there committed to helping you figure out what's special about you so that you can convey that in an image. What is a look? This is probably the question I am asked the most. A look is not just a change of shirt. What defines a look to me, along with having a change of wardrobe, backdrop, hair, makeup, an accessory or two, you need to have a different experience in front of the camera, conveying something different. That's a really, really important collaboration that we will have during session. How do you figure out what looks to do? Think back over the roles that you've played, the ways that you've been cast. Are you typically a powerful archetype, typically smart? Are you the underdog? As you start to work, start getting submitted for roles, you'll start to see a pattern in terms of the archetype. Are you the girl next door, the guy in charge? What's on TV right now? Cop shows, medical shows. How does your archetype fit into those kinds of shows? If you are powerful, maybe you're a police chief, a CEO, a head of surgery. Be thinking about those types of roles and professions. Start carving out your looks based on those things. Obviously ask your agents, they're gonna be the ones sending you out for work. So make sure that you fulfill the things that they think would work for you as well. Time versus looks. A lot of photographers offer packages that limit the number of looks you can do, which is totally a legitimate way of doing things. I've decided to offer packages based on time. For the actor who may not be super comfortable in front of the camera, you're gonna wanna limit your looks per hour. We're gonna take some time, get comfortable in front of the camera, so we may not be able to achieve as many looks in the two hour or three hour time period that you have purchased. If you're an old pro and you know what you want, you're organized and you know exactly what to do, we'll get as many looks in as we have time for. So I just talked about organization. The more organized you are, the faster we'll be able to achieve your looks and the more looks we're gonna be able to achieve. Put each look on a hanger all together. As you can see, I've got my little jacket, I've got my little dress underneath. Now, this is the biggest and best tip I can give you. This is men and women, but specifically, in particular, women, this will come in handy. I have a Ziploc bag here. You're gonna put every single accessory in this Ziploc. You're gonna cut a little hole and you're gonna feed it onto the hanger. So your entire look is right here. Let me show you what I have in here. I have a necklace, earrings, I have my glasses, I have a bobby pin, because for this look I think I'll wear my bangs back. And I even have my lipstick change. So whatever change you think you're gonna make during this look, you're gonna put in one bag in one place. I love glasses, I love accessories, bring it on, right? But often people will bring real glasses. So what that means is that I spend a lot of time going chin down, chin down, chin down to make sure that we don't get a reflection in those lenses so we can still see your eyeballs. So if you're thinking about wearing glasses in your photo shoot, get a pair of cute fashion frames and pop the lenses out. Look how fabulous I look. And then you don't have to worry about glare. And I don't have to worry about glare. Thank you. 
I hate photoshopping wrinkles out of clothes. Iron your clothes. Dudes, iron your clothes. Unless you're trying to be like a stoner dude or um, a hobo. If you're trying to be a hobo, wrinkles are great. Things to bring to your photo shoot. Men and women, powder. Powder, powder, powder. If you're getting your makeup done, don't worry about powder, we got you covered. If you are not, bring powder. Fellas, you'll want a translucent powder. It will sop up the shine. Bring a little hairspray, yes. Ladies, bobby pins. Even if you don't, you're not planning on putting your hair up, bobby pins can come in handy. We can hide them back there if we just need one little hair up, what have you. Bring bobby pins, they come in handy. Um, clothes pins, clothes pins, cheap dollar store clothes pins. Sometimes, depending on the fit of a shirt, we need to cinch it just a little so we get a better silhouette. Clothes pins come in really handy for that. Obviously, a hairbrush. Bring a hairbrush. Easy. All important lint roller. Bring a lint roller. We all have a little dandruff here and there. If you're wearing something darker, save yourself the time and energy of retouching. And just do a quick little roll. Should you get your makeup done? The photographer in me says, hell yeah, get your makeup done. It's gonna make you look better. It's gonna make me look better. It's gonna make my job way easier if you get professional hair and makeup done. The actress in me has had the experience of walking into an audition and having a casting director tell me I look nothing like my headshot. It sucks. So, if you feel confident doing your own makeup, do it. It's what you're gonna look like when you go into that audition. If you're not confident doing your own makeup, if that totally stresses you out and you would really, really rather not, by all means, have your makeup done. We offer makeup services. Other photographers offer makeup services. Some photographers require that you use their people. My advice to you is make sure that if it looks like the makeup they're doing for you, doesn't look like you or doesn't look like something that you can replicate, speak up, say something, ask them to tone it down, ask them to redo it. Because the worst case scenario is that you spend hundreds of dollars of your hard earned money and you can't use the shots because they don't look like you. The most important thing, hands down, can you repeat it? Does the shot look like you? That's it. So here are some fun tips. If you feel like you can't think of anything other than the fact that there's a camera in your face, it's so stressful, oh my God. Sometimes it helps to envision a bubble around you and the camera, just the camera lens, just a bubble around you and the camera. Just try it at home, just envision a bubble around you and the camera. Sometimes it helps to give yourself a line for each look and you can say it to yourself in different ways and oftentimes that'll get you to communicate a different look each time. Stop you from getting stuck. I will ask you questions and you're, you think the answer but don't tell me. So I'll ask you, who's your favorite person in the world? And I want you to think of that person but don't tell me right? So this way it gets you thinking about lots of things, but you're not like divulging all your deepest, darkest secrets to me, basically a stranger, right? I don't know if it's like a psychological reaction to having a camera like up in your face, or if it's a fear of the dreaded double chin. A lot of people will lift their chin and go backwards. As you can see, you can see up into my nose and it creates a flatness through here that's not super flattering. So it has the opposite effect. So I always say chin down. Now, I don't mean chin in. There's a big difference between this and this, right? This is not cute. Well, none of us want this. So think about creating length in the back of your neck and bringing the chin forward and down. Yes, practice that in the mirror, I swear. You'll create a nice little shadow under your chin and it also opens up the eyes. So if you're somebody like me, I tend to have kind of small eyes, I squint. Bringing the chin down and forward opens up the eyes. If you get squinty, okay, so there's a lot of light coming at you, 
light is a good thing it's flattering right but it can also make you feel really tense through your muscles so a nice little game that we put we do the one two three game right so you'll hit your head will be down and your eyes will be closed and I'll say one two three whenever you're ready you're gonna come up and then right back down again and each time you go down try to relax the muscles around your eyes and relax your eyeballs so you can come up very quickly up and back down again so that's a nice little trick if you're not shooting with me you can ask your photographer I'm sure they wouldn't mind you just close your eyes in between shots and do a count down that often helps also putting your head down and bringing it back up brings energy and movement to the shot too so if you feel like you're you're getting stuck that's another fun game to play the one two three game and it'll bring some movement into your body smiling without teeth this the half smile the soft smile is really hard to achieve for some reason <laughs> for everybody it's like this everybody is like either smiling or they're serious with kind of like dead eyes right so we want to achieve that soft smile or a serious face without looking angry. So a nice little trick I like to use is think of a secret. Try to come up with a secret. It sounds so goofy. I feel like Tyra Banks when I'm saying this stuff. The smiles. Um, no, you're going to want to try to think of a secret or just the idea of having a secret. So it takes it from here to here. Did it, was I Tyra? Was that so Tyra? It works. It sounds goofy, but it friggin' works. You can totally disregard anything I say, by the way. I think that's it. Signing off, signing off, signing off, signing off.